Hello, this is Jeffrey Fox here again with another lesson on the X Informatics Big Data course. Here we're continuing our study of what we sometimes call lifestyle or e-commerce informatics, in particular on recommender systems. This lesson discusses the uh, one of the fundamental, or actually rather simple algorithms, the Kate nearest neighbor algorithm. We, of course, remember the philosophy of this course. We're using clouds, running this algorithm, or more generally, data analytics. We do that collaboratively, because that's what clouds enable. We process big data, and we solve problems in X informatics. Whereas we noted, X runs over lots and lots of different uh, values, which are all, of course, displayed in our um, web clip art um, slides here. So in this um, lesson, we're going to introduce some Python um, code to describe an algorithm. This code is found online as part of a good book on the machine learning called Machine Learning in Action by Peter Harrington by Manning. And um, that you'll find at this URL here. And uh, we're going to go to chapter two. And we'll use the software in this book with some minor enhancements. And uh, in particular, those will allow us to change the format of one of the files to use it in a three-dimensional plotting program. Uh, this, se this section uses the following uh, files which are available. There is the file from the book, Dating Tape. Dating test set 2.txt, which is a data set of 1,000 points, which we'll be uh, classifying and using to produce recommendations. We have a little Python driver to convert that into the format used by the 3D plotter. We have two files corresponding to the results of this conversion. The .txt file is the raw file produced by the uh, Python driver. The .pvis file is output from plotvis itself, and uh, it um, has various formatting to make it look prettier. We have two Python files, knn, which essentially comes from the book, which implements the Kate nearest neighbor and various utilities, in particular the process files. And we have the driver file we're going to use in our IPython window uh, to invoke um, these uh, basic functions. Um, this um, tutorial is built around uh, two basically artificial examples. The first is particularly trivial. It only has four, four points. These points are in two dimensions. And they are already labeled. And uh, two of the, they fall into pairs. Each pair is uh, from obviously of two points, which are very close to each other. One essentially at zero, zero, and the other at one, one in two dimensions. Then we'll come on soon into an example with a thousand three dimensional labels. Uh, the case of the two dimensional labels is not read from a file, but just created in Python itself uh, with the following uh, Python code here the create dataset function, which has a uh, group code command setting an array of these four two-dimensional vectors. Um, you can see there are so x equals 1, y equals 1.1, x equals 1, y equals 1, x equals 0, y equals 0, x equals 0, y equals 0, point 0.1. And we label the points 1a and the points near 0, 0, b. And that's uh, a little function which is invoked and returns both the uh, vectors in group and the labels in the array labels. Now we actually run some Python code, uh, which is uh, shown here. We will just do that, but let's go through this uh, initial um, um, Python here. We, as always, set the correct um, directory where the, these files exist. And uh, that will depend, of course, on your implementation. It's for me on the D disk on, in the directory python slash recommender chapter two. Then we uh, have the import command, the knn file. 
Uh, we set up a figure. This figure will actually have three subplots, as you'll soon see. Uh, the first command, which is invoking this create data set function we already went through, defines group and labels. We're going to associate uh, the points A at the top right with red, and the points B at the bottom left as blue. And uh, we are define these colored group labels uh, by having the values red and blue, which will be interpreted by the uh, scatter command later on. At right at the bottom of this page. So the, by the end of this page, as we define this data set of four points, and we've actually plotted those four points on a um, on the, the uh, one particular subplot. Let's um, now go and actually run that Python. So to run the Python, we uh, go to the file knn driver.py. We um, um, copy it, and then we paste it into the IPython window. Hopefully there are no errors, no errors, and then we print, sorry, we do two returns. It thinks for a little while, and then produces a result, which is shown here, which is the um, Three plots, of which we just started to discuss the uh, top plot, which actually we only discussed the four points, which are circles, two near zero, zero, and two near one, one. We'll go on to the other three x's uh, in the next slide. And the two plots below, we'll come on to later on. That's the thousand points, which we um, are sitting in a file waiting for us to read it.